Hey kids, today's show is brought to you by the letter 4 and the number potato! I'm a stupid private! Hey cartoon fan, glad you're here. Today I've got a ponytastic double feature. I'm reviewing the Friendship is Magic comic book from IDW and the Magical Duel episode. To start off, I was a little irritated that the release date of the Friendship is Magic comic book kept getting pushed back. Don't be so modest. You complained for three days. <sighs> The point is that when the end product is this good, taking your time, within reason, <coughs> Valve, is perfectly alright. Writer Katie Cook and artist Andy Price have created an absolutely fantastic comic that's both a love letter to the show and to the fans. I recommend it and recommend it highly. From here on, spoiler alert. Issue 1, titled The Return of Queen Chrysalis, so you know it's awesome right there, starts with the CMCs accepting that their cutie marks will appear in their own time. <laughs> I'm just f***ing with you. They're camping out in Fluttershy's backyard. But the next day, the kids are acting more than a little off. Along with an ever-increasing number of Ponyville citizens, the main six quickly deduce that the Changelings are pulling an invasion of the Body Snatchers. In a stunning display of rational thinking, they actually alert the proper authorities. But as usual, she's busy. So it's time to hero up and kick Changeling butt. And so the day is saved, but the CMCs are still missing. Well, as it turns out, they've been taken to the land of the changelings by you-know-who. So the heroes are off to the land of shape-shifting freaks. The good parts? Well, there are a lot of them. Let's start with the covers. There are a lot of them, too. And they're darn cool. This comic has everything a Friendship is Magic episode should have. Humor, action, cringeworthy puns, and a conservative smattering of pop culture references. As I said before, this really feels like they kept the bronies in mind, with cameos from everybody from Dr. Hooves to Zakora. This is one comic where you want to look in the background of every panel to find all the little chunks of awesome hiding there. And that leads me to my one issue with this, um, issue. While the art style is very close to the show, it just feels a little bit off to me. Strictly a personal gripe here, final score, 9.5 out of 10. Alright, now for Magic Duel. I can definitely say that this is the best episode of Season 3 so far. The episode starts with Trixie buying a mysterious and obviously evil amulet from a ponyized version of Mr. Wing from Gremlins. Meanwhile, back at Fluttershy's cottage, Twilight is preparing for a demonstration of her magical prowess to some foreign delegates. Until Dash informs her that, gasp, Trixie's back and she's wrecking up the place. And Trixie will only stop if Twilight does battle in a magic duel. Armed with the unspeakable powers of darkness, Trixie is victorious, and Twilight is banished from Ponyville. Forever! Twilight uses her banishment time to train under Jedi Master Zakora, while Trixie is turning Ponyville into her own personal fascist state, Bane style. Why didn't you just kill me? Your punishment must be more severe. Fluttershy manages to escape the giant dome placed over the town, a la The Simpsons movie by Trixie and meet up with Twilight to help prepare for the final battle. Twilight tricks Trixie into another Agni Kai by saying that she has a much more awesomer amulet of ultimate evil. Anyway, Twilight wins the duel with the magic of deception. I mean friendship. Just in time for the big foreign relations thing. And Trixie apologizes and Twilight forgives. What? Trixie pulls a coup d'etat and they just let her go after she's deposed? I guess so. Damn bleeding heart ponies. They make me want to go play in traffic. This episode is so good, they should have extended it into a two-parter for the Season 3 opening. I was really digging the Star Wars feel with Darth Trixie and Twilight's trip to Dagobah. The results of the wizard's duel between Twilight and Trixie is entertaining as hell, ranging from the silly to the unintentionally horrific. So far, Season 3 has been more about the humor than the adventure, but here we see both firing on all cylinders. Every member of the main six made an appearance, and there are callbacks and references aplenty. I personally believe that if you look hard enough, you can find problems with anything. Like a spell that's destined to live on in the annals of creepy My Little Pony Friendship is Magic fan fiction. But these problems are pure nitpicks. So my final score for Season 3, Episode 5, Magic Duel, you'd think they could come up with a better title than that, is 9.5 out of 10. Thank you for watching.
Be, 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 be